So you were a part of the Washington coaching staff in 2013 that now has five current head coaches, including yourself, Sean McVay, Kyle Shanahan, Matt LaFleur, and Mike McDaniels, plus Texas offensive coordinator Bobby Slowick. That coaching staff is pretty wild. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's really good. So I'm trying to figure out, how did you guys go 3-13? and 13? Like, <laughs> Oh, man, you know, the situations are always different. You know, the year before, um, that same staff, I believe we won 10 games with the rookie RG3, and then things were able to just fall apart. Um, and that second year, and things went really bad, went really south for everybody. And that's how people got away. But uh, what people don't realize, there were more people even on that staff than that, just that. You know, Aubrey Pleasant um, was on that staff as well, who's out in L.A. right now as the assistant head coach. Um, you had different guys in different walks of life from uh, both sides of the ball. I mean, when you talk about Jim Hazlitt at the time, who was his current head coach from the New Orleans Saints, uh, and he had been doing some really cool things. And Bobby Slope was working on defense at the time with us. Um, but being over there was kind of cool because you got a chance to reflect even going back further when Sean McVay and Kyle Shanahan and some of those people were on the same team, the same thing in Keisha and in, 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 in Tampa with your dad. Right. And watch those people grow. Like, so I've been a part of some really cool trees, some good trees, whether it's been Mike Tomlin, Joe Barry, Rod Bradelli, Monty Kiffin, or whether it be Kyle Shanahan, Sean McVay, Matt LaFleur, Mike LaFleur, wherever we were going to Atlanta. Um, right. That's been ultimately um, good coaches being around good people. Um, and when you do things the right way and you settle down and get that competitive urgency the right way, you got a chance to win. And the times that we didn't were the times that we had a chance to lose, Key. And um, you know how that is, man. You can not You can be as good a coach as you want to be. If you don't have the players, um, you're not going to do it. Not to blame anybody, uh, but that's just the reality of it all, of uh, bringing it all together and tying all the stuff in together that takes that it comes and takes with winning. We absolutely hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more from us, Hit that subscribe button for all videos, full episodes, and exclusive content from the show. And don't forget to find all facts, no breaks, on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.